Oh, cutscene. Also, hello everyone and welcome to Chronos Plays Legend of Hero Trails in the Sky. Huh? What the heck? Great. Now this was something I did not expect. I don't know if we should. Uh, I wonder if we should be glad since we saved the trouble of having to contact them. Yeah, clearly they're having inside help then. We have found sus a suspicious armed group. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. What in the world's coming? To what is the world coming to? A woman and two kids are the Sky Bandits? Though the girl does look shifty. Hey, that's just rude. And who are you calling a Sky Bandit? Can you see the this shiny emblem on my chest? Hmm, <laughs> the bracelet emblem. Hmm. I hope you don't think for a moment something like that proves your innocence. Oh, it's dickhead. General Morgan? Why are you here? After looking over the report my, uh, reports of my men, I found this place has been civilly investigated, so I came here to see for myself. Who would have thought that a lot of you were conspiring with the Sky Bandits? Might I get you to stop with the ac uh, accusations, General? We happen to find this place one step ahead of your men. If that's the truth, then why don't you tell me where the Sky Bandits are? Are the hostages inside the airliner? We almost had the Sky Bandits, but they managed to escape. And there are no hostages to be found here. Hmm, it looks like the truth has come out. Most likely you notify the Sky Bandits to get them, uh, let them know we were coming. Wait a minute here, how about you cut the, the crap? My thoughts exactly! Alright men, take them to the custody, let's fight them all? We could take them. They're, they're nothing. I hope we get the kill, General Morgan. Good thing I started a recording too on the way out. The general will be questioning you himself in the more. Or morrow. If your innocence is proven, then you'll be released in two or three days. For the time being, the cell will give you a place to cool your heels. I'm so mad. Sai, this isn't even funny. Tossing us in a place like this without even listening to a word we have to say. If the army's managed to arrest the Sky Bandits, then I'm sure we'd have our names cleared. But with the way things are, are at the moment, that may not be possible. Huh? Why not? You remember what the Sky Bandit leader we fought in the old mine said, right? He said, this can't be right. You're not supposed to be here this early, if I remember correctly. Now that you mention it, he did say that, didn't he? Yeah. Inside job. You're not trying to tell me that he meant the army by uh, meant the army by that, are you? I don't know for sure, but I would bet that the, that's what he meant. Which means that the Sky Bandits have a mole in the army. Or a collaborator who's leaking information. That's what you wanted to say, isn't it, Joshua? Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then they'll never get caught. Which means we're the only ones that stood a chance of nabbing them. But now we're stuck here. I wonder how your father would get around this little setback. My, my, my. Well, I don't think... Uh, I don't think you all seem to be... Don't you all seem to be in a bit of a fix? Huh? Did you just say something, Joshua? No, I didn't say anything. It came from the cell next door. It almost sounds familiar. Oh! Okay, it's the Spoonie Bard. Oh, how could you be a kid say something so heartless? My lustrous voice shouldn't be recognized by anyone. Could this unfounded self-consciousness consciousness, a tone of a certain narcissism belong to? Is it you, Oliver? You do remember my dulcet chords. To think we'd meet again in a place like this. It seems that we are bound by destiny, bound by destiny. But why are you here? I thought you... we took you to Bose. And now you're locked up in a place like this? What the heck did you do? Come now, let us not worry about the, all the little details, shall we? I have my reasons, which are deeper than the deepest ocean and higher than the highest peaks. I'm definitely not asking now. I'm sure you, we'd just get tired while you talked our ear off. What a coincidence, Estelle. I was just thinking the same thing. So there you have it. We really don't care to know. You talk so much, I'd probably be an old woman by the time we're done, and I'm uh, I'm not ready for wrinkles yet. <laughs> Come on now, it's, let's not be like that. But I'll fill you in on all the details of the tragic incident which befell me. Didn't you listen, dummy? We don't want to hear about it. It all began after we parted ways. I did some window shopping in the Bose market and then moved to the Aunt Rose restaurant. You see, once I had eaten my to my heart's content, I began to pl play the grand piano to then feed my artistic soul. Upon doing so, the restaurant manager was overcome by my skill, so I was asked to stay and work as a professional pianist for the restaurant. 
That's great and all, but I thought you were supposed to be a, a ludist. Ha! A magical genius is not limited to one instrument. Anyways, back to my story. After negotiating a few of my own conditions, I accepted the job offer. Those conditions were, of course, food and wine for free every day instead of Mera. <clears throat> I don't know how to put it, but that's very you, Oliver. Yet, I'm not sure how this has anything to do with getting you thrown in jail. Oh, well, this is where the real sob story begins. That night, I had been enjoying a plate of uh, sautéed duck I had, I had the chef prepare. But the blood sauce which had been used was a little too overbearing for my palate. Consequently, I began to feel that normal red wine was not satisfying enough. The more you talk, the more I want to hit you. But go on, I'm curious in spite of not knowing better. Or in spite. Well, so I borrowed a bottle of wine which seemed good from the cellar. Something called Grand Chardonnay from the year 1183. Grand Chardonnay? From the year 1183? That's the legendary vintage wine that uh, that was auctioned off in the royal city. Well, <laughs> aren't you well informed? I heard a rumor about it too, so of course I was interested in having a drink for myself. Auction off? How much are we talking here? From what I heard, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 500,000 Mira. 500,000 Mira? For just one bottle? That's out of this world. And you didn't, did you, Oliver? Ha, huh, need, uh, need, such a needless question. Uh, of course I opened the bottle and had a sip. This sweet smell, fr uh, smiling, uh, sweet smelling fragrant tickled my nostrils. Its luxurious, mellow taste caressed my throat. And can you believe what else? A rose-tinted vintage of time and space existed within the bottle. I don't think I can listen to this any longer. Yeah, my ears are bleeding from listening to such stupidity. I'm completely dumbfounded. The sad thing is that after uh, taking a sip of some excellent wine, I began to feel the food was lacking. And as I was having the chef cook me up something else to match the wine, the restaurant manager returned. Since I'm not a stingy fellow, I cordially invited him to join me for a drink. But for some odd reason, he had uh, he got rather upset. In fact, he got so steaming mad that his face looked like a ripe tomato. And before I could say another word, a group of soldiers came filing in. <laughs> and well... One thing led to another, and... <coughs> you know, he's a good spoony bard. I can't say another word about this tragedy of being dragged all the way here without coming to tears. So let us all weep together as, we, as you sympathize with my dilemma. <coughs> Idiot. Pa pardon? Do my ears deceive me? I could have sworn I heard Z's and Z's. And even an absurdly misheard idiot coming from your cell. Are you listening? This is where the story gets really interesting. You see, several further trials awaited me after I was brought here. Hello? Are you listening? I like him. I do like him. Hey, you three, get up! Uh, man, I'm tired. What's wrong? Are you trying to tell us we're being interrogated this early in the morning? That's a little early even for me. No, it's just the opposite. You're being released. Huh? Why all of a sudden? Is there a reason for this? Yes, I'd like to consider, my, uh, I'd like to consider, my, consider myself the, that reason. Hey, it's Mayabelle. Mayor Mayabelle! Whoa, what an unusual place to, me, uh, to be meeting you. I'm really sorry about everything that happened to you, but don't worry, your names have been cleared. <laughs> I don't completely agree with everything, but this is a request coming from Mayabelle herself. You better remember to thank her. So you mean, Mary Bell's, uh, Mayor Mayabelle stood up for us on our behalf, or stood up on our behalf? No, that's not exactly it. I just explained your situation to General Morgan. Our situation? Yes, I have one question for the both of you. Are you really the children of uh, Cassius Bright? Um, yes, that's right. This is Estelle Bright, and I'm his adopted son, Joshua. I see. Now that you mention it, the girl does slightly resemble Lena. Lena. You know my mother? Yes, I enjoyed your mother's cooking on several occasions when I visited your home in Roland. Why, in fact, we even met once when you were just a baby. Now, just wait just a minute. You're a personal acquaintance of my dad's? I knew he was in the military before, but... Hmm, I don't know Cassius Bright the Bracer. The only Cassius I know is the one from, my, from the service. He was a rare strategist. Strategist? Dad? I just can't imagine what he saw in the Bracer Guild. It makes me angry just thinking about it. 
You have to excuse me. <coughs> oh, my throat is not agreeing with voicing today. What? What's wrong with him? <laughs> Seems like your father was a brilliant officer in the military. I've heard from the general that he tried several times to get your father to change his mind about retiring. I didn't know that. Somehow it feels hard to believe. However, if, this, if that's the case, the general's hatred for braces may stem from Katja's leaving the army. From the vex uh, vex vexation of being left by one of his most promising men. I get the same impression. So what you're saying is, our lives are such a pain because of Dad? That, that dirty, rotten scoundrel! How about we return to Bose now? With the airliner being found, the situation has taken a new turn. So there are a number of things I'd like to discuss with you. Oh, sure. Is something the matter? I'm definitely ready to get out of here, but it feels like we're forgetting something. Now that you mention it, what could it be? Who left the loot with him? Oh, how callous people can be at times. Why did they leave him that loot? How could you forget about a companion who spent the night with you in a cold, hard cell? How lamentable. How pitiful. Fine. Be that way. I shall wither away, friendless and hungry, alone in this dark purgatory. Is he still here? Yeah, I completely forgot about him. Sorry to say, but there's not much we can do for you. Is he the musician I heard about? The one who chugged that bottle of Grand Chardonnay without a second thought? Ha! Indeed, that is I. Yet, my fair lass, I would be heartbroken if you took my intentions the wrong way. For you see, I perceived it as an advanced payment for an exquisite service that I was about to render. <laughs> You're quite the interesting character. Alright, I'll see what I can do to bargain with the general for your release. R really? T truly? You would do such a kind service for a man such as myself? I think he may be asking- yeah, that may be asking a bit much. If the restaurant takes this to trial, there's nothing- there's going to be at least, uh, there's going to be at least a, be a lawsuit. Uh, well, there's no need to worry about that. You see, the owner of the restaurant is me! Huh? And the Grand Chardonnay was the very one I bid on. That being the case, I'm fairly confident there won't be any other problems over that matter. Really? I would probably want that 500 mirror back, 500,000 mirror back. I can't believe you were released. It's just a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> Please don't lay on the compliments so thick. However, it pains my soul that I partook in such a fine wine without paying a single mirror. Shall I play the piano in the restaurant per our contract for remedy to remedy that? I think we'll have to pass on that. After what happened, I think it would be a bit awkward having you back there. I for one don't think he'd be... I don't think he'd mind a bit. Yeah, he sure does seem to have a, some thick skin. Let's just think of this as an unfortunate incident for the both of us. But I don't think I'd just let things go like this. Let's see. It seems like you're investigating something at the moment, right? How would I lend my assistance in return for the wine? Huh? Well, that does sound interesting. Could I ask you to join these braces in their work? Huh, <laughs> could you ever? So it's settled. Let our new working relationship bloom in a magnolia of, at the height of spring. Hold on a sec. What we do to deserve this? Your general weirdness aside, simply having an amateur like you around is honestly going to be a pain. Are you confident you won't be a, uh, won't be a drag on our work or our sanity? Well, I'm somewhat confident in my marksmanship and magic. But of course, I'd be distressed if you t uh, tried to listen to my, uh, if you tried to list my music genius in the same group. That's the kind of line that gets me really worried. But maybe we could use an extra hand. As long as we can't uh, can't count on the army to help us, I have a feeling that we'll be short on manpower. Thoughts? Well, all right then. We'll use you for what you're worth. However, if you do do happen to conclude that you're, if we do happen to conclude that you're not worth our, your weight, you're dumped from the party. Are you going to be okay with that? <laughs> of course I don't mind. I'd never let you down. So please let me be reassured. Well, my expectations of you are pretty much at rock bottom anyway, so I... <laughs> so I know you won't let me down. <laughs> I'm glad things are settled between you all. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. Tell us? Actually, the town did seem pretty noisy as we were headed here. What happened? Truth be told, last night there was a large-scale burglary in the uh, Bose South Block. The weapon shop and oval factory were targeted, as there were a number of private residences. What? So this was the work of the Sky Bandits. Also, what the where the hell are the guards? Like, shouldn't there be like heightened security around this area? 
I mean, sure, that doesn't guarantee that there won't be an issue, but what, shouldn't there be, like, constant patrols? Ugh, it's unknown at this time, but it seems highly probable. A unit of Royal Army is currently conducting an investigation. Oh, yeah, that's gonna go awfully, probably. I see, I guess we better do an investigation of our own, then. Yes, I'd like to formally request that you do just that. I'll send a payment over to the guild for the work you've done so far. Please make sure to use the money for your current investigation expenses. At least we're getting paid for the prior job. I have a feeling that the army is going to be getting in our way again. But I guess we, when that happens, it happens. Whether they get in our way or not, I don't think we should be forthcoming with the army about our information we come across. Because if there's really a spy in their midst, we'll just leak it to the Sky Bandits, or they'll just leak it to the Sky Bandits. Though I'm reluctant to say it, I also think it's best for the, uh, best to keep quiet about our findings. Anyways, let's act with prudence. Alrighty, my bosom companions. Shall we head to the south block? Look, buddy, who made you king of the show? Look, he's not king. He's just spoony. Let's go... Where is the Bracer Guild? It's up and to the right. Over here. Yes. Starting to finally get the hang of the place. Oh, oh wait, I wanted to, like, report? Oh, you're talking about my imprisonment? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, how many braces are here? Would process, process doesn't even do anything? Oh, okay, so we are actually in the legal right investigating this stuff. So yeah, that would have looked bad on his part. If they weren't, like, corrupt. Now we get two extra BP and 6,000 Mira. That's dope. Any other missions? We get new. Stolen ring. Medium. I was burglarized the other day and my jeweled ring was found to be among the missing items. It's quite valuable to me, so if anyone happens to find it, please let me know. I live on Bose South Block. Uh, Lana. Lu yeah, it's Lana, right? Kind of like Laura, but with an N. How are we doing on Mayor uh, Septith? We need nine more fire. Now, if I was Laura, or Lana, where would I be? Not you. So you gotta be in one of the residences, right? You? But I wanna see if that's the woman I'm looking for. Maybe... Hmm. Not up here. Okay, maybe the Orbital Factory? Because there is a woman up there, right? Dorothy, goddammit! Yay, this turned out really cute! Niall, is this how you wanted this one? Yeah, sure, something like that. However, we really got screwed, you know that? Hmm? Good afternoon, are you working on another story? Looks like you two are on this tra trail of a scoop again. Hey, it's you kids. Oh, it's Nell and Joshua. Boy, am I glad to see that you let out, uh, they, they let you out of the clinker. Yeah, I heard all about you kids getting arrested by the army up in the old mine. You certainly had me worried. Are you acting like you had nothing to do with it? It was your info that led us to the village. Hey now, that what kind, what's, what kind of face is that? Don't tell me you blame uh, us. Did you go and check out the abandoned mine yourselves? Yeah, we did yesterday. But it was after you all had already been hauled off. We could have had a really good, great shot of your, your arrest when we had, if we, if we had been there. It really guts me that we missed such a perfect opportunity for such a great shot. I, I swear you people in the news business. But anyways, I was wondering if you thought this looked like the handiwork of the Sky Bandits. It sure looks like that way to me. It seems that the Omni is sniffing around for clues too. But to be honest, it looks like there's nothing to be found here anymore. I see, that makes things a bit more difficult. Well, Mr. Reporter, why don't you let me ask you this then? Do you know where, uh, do you know from whence the Sky Bandits entered town? According to the witness statements, they were seen leaving through the West Gate. Well, that's awfully strange. The Mayor's residence in Bosley Market is right there through the West and Gate. And it seems like attacking those two places would be far more lucrative. Uh, when you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. But if you don't mind me asking, who the heck are you anyways? 
I'm glad you asked. I am Alva Limheim, a wandering bard and gifted musician. I'm sure you've heard rumors about me, right? Oh, right, you're the guy who drank wine without paying at that classy restaurant. It takes guts to stiff, uh, stiff such a big bill. It's an arm to meet you, sir. <laughs> you're making me blush. I'm ready for my interview anytime, so don't hesitate to ask. Wow, really? I'm getting a headache just listening to this crap. These two are very much alike. Don't you dare say that about Dorothy. She's a nice lady. I'm not even going to ask how this guy wound up with the rest of you. That would be for best. All right, are you... Lon, you're Carrie. God damn it. Uh, that does make sense. Dorothy, what up, girl? You get... The newest model of the camera was, was stolen. Oh, no. I mean, they're probably not interested in photography, more just like what they can get for the camera. All right. You're not her, are you? No. You're Nigel. Hmm. Can you repeat that? Oh, so you're running a shady business, Nigel? And you're just gonna tell that to us? You're lucky I don't turn you in. So you need 200. Good God. You need two of these. Ooh, yeah. Um. We need nine more. And, okay. So we just need nine more. We can get, like... Well, we can get a Stealth Max. And then we can get sure up the... A few. So... So you, are you Mirage? You are Mirage then. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. You know what, let's give him another uh, water. Hey, you have Leltea too. That's good. Petrified breath. Hmm. Sure. Give you that. Cause why not? Yeah, that's probably good. Are you still equipped with stuff? I actually forgot that you we like had your stuff already. Oh, we got duplicates. No? Yes. I don't know. Here, you can have prevent death blow. Yeah, that's good for now. Alright, uh, where is this Lana? Okay. Hey, you there! What, is something wrong? I thought I'd better give you a word of advice. Even if you're representing the mayor, at the end of the day, you're still all civilians. We cannot have you wandering around here in the middle of our investigation. Who do you think you're talking to? Your advice seems rather more like a threat. I'm just saying you need to know your place. But if you're so adamant about investigating the matter, then do it after we clear out the area. If we get uh, if we get any more trouble out of you, then I'm going to have to give you a personal invitation to jail. We're in the legal right. Forget about it, Sal. There's no use arguing with these gentlemen. Ha! <laughs> For an ass in a lion's skin, you sure know how to throw your weight around, Mr. Soldier. What did you just say? May I ask what's going on here? Colonel. For a soldier in the uh, prestigious Royal Army to be threatening a are good citizens. That is an outright embarrassment to us all. But these aren't just civilians, sir. They're members of the Bracer Guild. Oh, is that so? Then I ask you once again, what is going on here? The army is supposed to be working closely with the Guild. What do you intend to accomplish by being rude to our allies? But as far as the General is concerned... Ah, uh, yes. The side of the General really concerns me. I'll, talk o I'll take over this investigation from here, so please take your men and clear out. But, sir! Your men have been here since early this morning, so I presume that's a sniff, uh, sufficient investigation has been conducted by now. I like this officer in black. Yes? I'll smooth things over with the general later. Is there anything else you wish me to address? N no, sir. All right, men. Pack it up. We're, at, we're returning to Hawking Gate. It looks like that's that. It seems that some of our personnel were rather impolite. Please allow me to apologize. I appreciate the gesture. But we made some slightly inflammatory remarks as well, so how about we let bygones be bygones? No, they deserve those inflammatory remarks. That suits me just fine. As I said before, the army is supposed to be working closely with the guild. I think our two organizations working together grants us the, each of the ability to make up with the other's shortcomings. 
I'm looking forward to any progress you make with this recent series of events. Thank you. We'll do what we can. He seems like a decent guy. Yeah, I wonder who he is. Colonel, it's almost time to move the it's almost the appointment time. Or appointed time. Oh, already. Excuse me, but it appears I must take my leave. Oh, but before I do, it looks like I haven't properly introduced myself. I am Alan Richard, a colonel in the Royal Army. If there is anything I can do to assist you, please don't hesitate to contact me. What's the girl's name? I want to know she looks nice. No? Okay. Colonel Richard? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Now I was the one who mentioned him, uh, mentioned his name earlier. He said something about him being a sharp young officer who leads the Royal Army Intelligence uh, Division. Oh, right. Ah, oh, for someone in the military, he sure knows how to listen to others. Hmm. Probably in his mid-thirties. He's not hard on the eyes, either. He doesn't look like he's more fit to be a politician than a service member in the army. Hey, you guys. Who was that you were just talking to in the black uniform? I could have swore I could swear I seen him somewhere before. Are you trying to tell me you didn't recognize him at all? That was Colonel Richard of the Intelligence Division, you know. The guy you mentioned earlier. W what? You're not pulling my leg, are you? As fun as that would be, nope. He said himself, so I'm fairly confident that he, he is who he says he is. To think that the legend himself would show up here. We can't wait around here like this any longer, Dorothy. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Aye, aye, sir, although I'm really not sure that why we're chasing after anyone. Aw, oh, poor Dorothy. Did you see his eyes light up? I wonder if he's going to go on an, an interview or something. <laughs> anyone else in the army would brush him off, but I'm sure the colonel will oblige him. Hmm. What's the matter with you, Oliver? You look serious, and I gotta say, I find it creepy coming from you. I was just wondering about the colonel. I'll be the first to admit he's quite the specimen of a man, but... But what? I can say with confidence that he doesn't stand against a chance against me when it comes to the ladies. But I'd like to see him try just a little harder. It's no fun without a romantic rival. You just had to ask, didn't you, Joshua? I'll regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Now that the soldier's gone, how about we resume our investigation? Let's start by talking to all the people we couldn't talk to earlier. Good idea. Yeah, we'll do that like next time though. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below if you're not subscribed yet. And you know my videos so you can check out some of the content and see if it's your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great day.